Hi, my dear friends and family. I hope everyone is having a, such a terrific day today because it's Monday. It's an amazing day to have an amazing day. And it's just full of the blessing of God. As I'm even here, you know, and I'm looking around, I don't know if you all can see the trees outside there. I just really and truly appreciate you know how oh my gosh god has created this wonderful universe this world you know it's so beautiful and full of life and so i just enjoy the sunlight i enjoy the trees i enjoy the plants the beautiful flowers you know and um it's just a marvelous thing in my sight to see what god has done and so i i enjoy every day i embrace every day no matter the obstacles no matter the things that try to come up in the day. Hey, we got control over how we want to take it, how we want to approach it, how we want to accept it, because we can reject it too, right? So you got control over your day. You know, yesterday I ministered the word, <laughs> we are victorious in Christ. He gave, he gave us that life. Glory to God. Nothing shall separate us from the love of God. Shall trial, shall tribulation, shall adversity? No, no, no. And his love for us give us the dynamic ability where, my God, we oh, my are. Friends. Hold on, so y'all. Okay. We are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus because of the love of God. So, my God, conquer today. Conquer, conquer. Glory to God. So, I just wanted to just in encourage someone right there real quickly and just let you know, hey, if your day not going so well, take charge of your day. Turn that frown into a smile and just know that that what you're going through, it can't kill you. It only can make you stronger. Go full force and pray. And talking about prayer, we're going to talk about that today in our Spirit Empowerment Daily Devotional Prophetic and Evangelism book. But before I go into that, I just want to say a little bit about this amazing book that the Lord has blessed us with. You know, this is our third year and we first started out with the ebook, you know, and um, we didn't do so well with our goal as far as soul winning because it was like um, in the ebook uh, part. Uh, it was an, an ebook um, where you'd have to download, and so when we, you know when the evangelism teams would go out, it wasn't really doing much because people were losing, you know, the download link, and it was just so hard to keep up with that. Um, so we didn't, we weren't successful as we thought we would have been. So, you know, of course, it costs money to develop you know, uh, my writings into an ebook format. Um, and, and then it went from an ebook format now to a printed format. And so it costs money to develop it. It costs money to print it. It costs money to ship it. And then of course we have to go out and hand them out free of charge, you know, in different communities across the globe here in America, um, in Africa, Jamaica, we're trying to get, you know, these books out there. Um, we're working on that. This is our first edition, um, of the book, the printed book which is April and last month, March, during our God's Diamond Ablaze Conference, you know, we handed them out, you know, and um, we made a good impact there, you know, so we see what this book can really do when you hand it out, when someone receives it in their hand, where they can touch it, where they can read it, you know, where, where they can go back and, and highlight it and study it. My God, it makes a greater impact. And so I'm very happy about, you know, um, what God is doing with uh, the Spirit Empowerment Daily Devotional. Now, you know, everything, it needs money, right? It costs money. You know, the gospel is free, but to get it out there and to launch it, you know, it, it costs money. So... Um, we're always looking for partners, um, people that are willing to partner with us to get these books printed so that we can hand them out. All partners get books for themselves as well. So you will have as many ever books that you would like um, with your partnership um, amount, you know, based on the amount, of course. 
Um, so, you know, anyone that want to partner with us with any amount that you would like to partner with, we will definitely love for you to do that. You know, if God is calling you um, to, to participate in such a wonderful thing of soul winning, of evangelism, hey, you may not be the one out there handing it out, you know, being the one out there, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, meeting the people and praying for the people that need prayer and that need Christ. But because of your donation, you know, your hand is in that too, you know, so you will receive a blessing from that too. And so if you're someone that, you know, you may not have a church home, you know, or you may have a church home, it doesn't matter. You know, if God is laying it on your heart to really join hands with HSEGC and join hands with me to get this spirit empowerment daily devotional prophetic and evangelism book for soul winning out into the communities to people that really don't know god or really don't understand themselves in christ really don't know much about christ really don't understand the bible very well this book breaks uh you know the scriptures down it's not too much it's not overwhelming it's just right it's just tight it's just enough that it will empower their spirit to live a great and mighty life through christ and so we ask you if you, you know, would like to partner with us, please click the link below. It'll take you right to our website where you can do your monthly partnership. You can do recurring partnership amount of any amount. And so um, we can definitely do this work hand in hand together as we work uh, for the kingdom of God. So I appreciate you and I thank you in advance for um, your partnership. Really quickly, just want to show you what the book is about here. So it has... Um, you know, when they do get the book, if they have not, you know, um, if they don't have a church home or if they don't, you know, belong to an online church, this is the information. It's a few people here from our ministry, and this is the link to join our Sunday service, 3 p.m. Anywhere in the world where they are, when they receive this, they also receive, uh, uh, you know, a open arms to join us for church, for to, to learn and to grow. So we don't leave them just with the book, but we invite them so they can learn more and they can grow more. And this is our April edition, like I said. May is coming up, so we need those partnerships um, to get May's edition um, printed. We are looking at 100 books, but if we could print more, we'd love to print more, but it all depends on how many partners that we have that will hold hands with us to get these books out. So this is April edition. Of course, this is our year of Godfidence. Hallelujah. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Godfidence. I have confidence in God in me and we are making it happen. Amen. So that's our year of Godfidence right there. And then here it is. Our weekly activities is right there for them so they can see what's going on and they can participate. This is just a little bit of information on our copyright, uh, copyright, um, our rights reserve, our church phone number, and also our church uh, website and address. All right, the preface, and then it goes right in day one which was April 1st, called according to his purpose. It has the scripture reading there, the title, the scripture, and then the breakdown, not too much, just enough to get them an understanding, a revelation of the word of what this says that will empower their life. And then here it is, the prayer point right there that they can use to pray, and also the prophetic declaration that they will decree, that they will confess, and my God, it shall happen um, for them according to their faith. Amen? So in the back, importantly, in the back of the book, thank you, Jesus. In the back of the book, we have the prayer of salvation. You know, of course, you know, according to Romans 10 verse 9, if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of your life and that you will be saved. And so we believe that if you confess, if you really confess Jesus as Lord of your life, you will receive salvation. And so we have the prayer of salvation there and, um, you know, that they can repeat and receive Christ and start their relationship with him, which is so, so, so important. So that's um, to the back of the book. And of course, they can take notes. And then this is, um, we have um, some of my other books that I have written. I've written quite a few. I have not launched um, them as yet, but that's coming up very soon. 
So this is um, Understanding the Prophetic. That's one of them here. And it's in our church store um, that uh, they can, um, or you guys can actually inquire about, go there and purchase. All right, so let's just go right in. We talk so much about the Spirit Empowerment, Daily Devotional Prophetic and Evangelism book. Let's hear what the book got to say, all right? <laughs> all right, amen. Hallelujah. I just love you all. Thank you so much for just being a great support to this great work. All right, so today we're talking about corporate prayer. Corporate prayer. So we're coming from the book of Acts, chapter 12, verse 5. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. But, P but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. I'll read it again. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. So the church was praying for him. All right, so now it goes down to break it down. All right, it goes down to break it down. <laughs> All right, let's go. Herod the king began to harass the church as he was arresting and killing the apostles of God. That's what Herod was doing. He was trying to kill all the apostles and harass the church, causing a problem for the church. And so when, and so when, when he arrested Peter, the Bible says prayer was offered on his behalf by the church. So when Peter was arrested, what? The church started to pray for Peter, intercede for, for Peter, right? That's what the church did for Peter. Now, the Spirit Empowerment Daily Devotional continues in its reading and it says, This reveals to us the power of corporate prayer. Prayer works and is very much effective when men and women dedicate themselves to pray. The situation seemed impossible from the outside, especially when with other apostles, you know, they have been killed uh, 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 by uh, the, the King Herod. And so they see what was happening. And so it looked impossible, but persistent and fervent prayer availed much. The church trusted and believed God for intervention for Peter. And the Lord was faithful enough that the chains fell off the wrists of Peter's hand and the iron gates and doors opened wide for him. We are in the, in the perilous times right now that we are living in and there's wickedness in this world. However, when we unite as a church in prayer, we shall dominate and win nations for Christ. Nothing is impossible for them that believe. All things respond to prayer. Things don't just happen. We pray our way out of every situation we may find ourselves in. As the church was corporately praying, angels of God were released to the point of need. And that is where Peter was. As a local church or an online church, we need intercession groups and prayer partners to be effective so that we release angels to our point of need. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now it goes to the prayer point. The prayer point is, we believe in prayer and ask the Lord to grant us favor to gather ourselves in prayer for every need that we have. So you will pray that prayer point. Father, I believe in prayer. And as I pray to you, Father, I ask you, Lord God, to grant us favor, oh God, to gather together in the name of Jesus so that we will pray for every need to be met in the name of Jesus. There'll be no lack. There'll be no limitation. No one shall be locked away. No one shall be in a place of distress or trouble. Right now, we release every chain. Right now, we release every limitation. Right now, we release them from the spirit of lack, the spirit my God, of, of, of setback in their lives in the name of Jesus. Every ungodly attack right now, we decree and declare them demolished, diminished, destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. You, you go in, you go in. It's just a little 
little tap, but the, the little drip, that's just a little drip, the prayer point. But as you go in, my God, and you start using the prayer point, you know, uh, 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 and going against everything that the enemy is trying to cause in your life, every lack and limitation in your life, you know, that the enemy is pushing in your life. Then you push back in prayer and you destroy, you set, you, you set your sister, you set your brother free, you set yourself free, whoever it is that you're interceding for, you know, the church is also so important. This this also shows us that how much the church is so much needed because without a church family, I mean, and who, who who's going to intercede for you without the body of faith, the body of Christ, the, the, the servants of the Lord, the, the ones that are standing in faith. Your faith may not be as strong as somebody else's, but imagine your sister, your brother that is always praying always um in the word of god feeding their spirit maybe not as much as you are but they are always doing that and then you go to them my sister my brother you know you you go to them and you say you know uh, uh, um <laughs> i need prayer for this they start interceding for you baby your chain the chain's gonna be broken you're gonna be set free angels are gonna release in your life in the mighty name of jesus it shall happen that's why a church family is so important listen if you don't have a church family HSCGC is open for you. Come on. We, no matter where you are in the world, God set this thing up where you can receive from him. You can receive love from people all across the globe where we gather together as one in this one body of Christ, as one spirit of God, lifting each other up, receiving the word, receiving a, a stronger, a, a more better, a, 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 a stronger, you know, a prayer life, a, a, you know, a, 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 a more stronger spirit and, and more stronger my God, in the things of the Lord. And so come on. HSCGC is open just for you. Come on in. Come on through. We're ready for you. Whenever you're ready for us, we're here. Glory to God. The prophetic declaration is also here. And the prophetic declaration says, as Peter was prayed for corporately, we pray as well for our miracles and breakthroughs in prayer as, as a online church or or as a local church and grouping in the name of Jesus. And so that's when now you pray, you start praying, God, send me a church, a church family, whether it be a church family online, whether it be a, a local church, Father, wherever you want me to be, Lord, I need to get with a church so I may, you know, uh, 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 utilize my gift. And so, God, that I may have this family of support that will intercede for me and that I will learn and grow in, in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior. And then you just pray, you pray, you pray, utilizing that prophetic word also in your, in you know, as you are speaking it forth. I'm telling you, miracles will show up breakthroughs will show up for you in the name of Jesus Christ and I feel it coming from my spirit so mightily like I, I just feel like praying right now my God just by reading this just one little devotional page right here it just just empowered my spirit glory to God I, it just empowered my spirit right now and I, I just want to pray like can I just pray for somebody here today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray for you right now Lord God I thank you for this dear sister I thank you for this dear brother oh God. And Lord Jesus, I pray Father, just as the church prayed for Peter, oh God, I am praying for those right now that have been in a situation for a very long time, has been in a situation, oh God, even today, Lord, that is facing an infirmity, that is facing, oh God, uh, uh, my God, I'm even hearing spiritual abduction, spiritual abduction, meaning that the enemy has captured your spiritual life. I decree them loose right now in the name of Jesus, any spiritual abduction, anyone that have been captured spiritually, I command their release right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree the angels of heaven will go and locate them, bring them back to their rightful place, their destiny place in the name of Jesus. I speak over their life right now. Those that are dear, that is watching me right now, that is, is you know, that, that want to partner with the Holy Spirit uh, in, in the Spirit Empowerment Daily Devotional uh, 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 Prophet 
prophetic and evangelism book for soul winning. Those that are here today, I pray for them, Lord God, that Lord, a great impact will be made, oh God, because of their giving and that there shall be a great impact in their lives, oh God. I decree now that everything that they will give, that Lord, they will receive seven folds, not only for them, but for their children shall be a part of this blessing. Their family shall be a part of this blessing. I decree spiritual covering in the name of Jesus. I speak enlightenment. I speak for them right now in the realm of the spirit. And Father, I intercede for them a great breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And I pray that the eyes of their understanding be enlightened, O oh God. And I pray for them that they will walk with a spirit of excellency. And may the wisdom of God be their portion. I bless them, O oh God, for the healing power of the Holy Ghost will now engage with them. Wrap them up, O oh God, and vitalize that body right now. Those that are sick, O oh God, that healing right now will manifest. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God, for blessing each and every one that is watching. Everyone that is getting ready to partner. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving them, Lord God, the heart to give. And so, oh God, as you said, you bless the, you, you, you are in, you, you love the cheerful giver. My God, I know those you love, you protect, you provide, you prov you send provision for. There's no lack in their life because you take care of who you love. And so we thank you, Father God, for the blessing on everyone right now that is watching, especially for those that are partnering with us right now, God, for this great mission. And I thank you, Lord, for the many souls that will be saved through this devotional handbook, oh God, that will be handed out into the, the, the communities, into the hair salons, into the barbershops. We thank you, Lord Jesus, oh God, that those that touch, that those that receive these books, oh God, that their lives will transform, oh God. Lord, that they'll be set free and delivered and that they will draw closer to you, Father, than they've ever been before. We thank you for the empowerment that is even coming through this broadcast right now. And we thank you, Lord, for the empowerment in the spirit empowerment, daily devotional. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, taking the time to listen to this video. Um, and um, I hope to see you all again soon. Well, <laughs> I hope to see you all again soon. Those that are commenting and so forth. And I hope to come back again to read again from um, tomorrow or another day of our Spirit Empowerment Daily Devotional reading. If you've loved it, let me hear your comment. Let me see your likes. Let me see your thumbs up. I want to hear from you. We need feedback. I want to hear from you, my God. God bless you. I love you. And remember to live by faith, not by sight. Keep a pure heart and a rightful spirit. See you next time. Shalom.